Hello, welcome back to Travels with Biba and welcome to Farnborough Air Show. Yes, we are back here once again at this huge international trade exhibition for the aerospace industry. Millions of pounds worth of deals are passing through this place every hour throughout the five-day show. Major airlines from across the world are also here to show off their brand new aircraft and snazzy new interiors. And that's what we're here to check out. So please, come and join me. Well, come on board. Oh, wait a minute, this isn't Farm Bear Show. But don't worry, you haven't made a mistake, I kind of have. So silly me, while I was at the air show, I forgot to film the introduction to this video. So here I am, during my editing process, and of course, with a cup of tea, having to film it at home. So, cutting to the chase. British Airways, which many of you know, is a favourite of mine, and they recently unveiled their brand new short haul interior. And lucky for me, they brought it along to Farnborough Airshow. When I say new, it's literally just a few weeks old. And yeah, they brought it along to Farnborough, and I had the ultimate privilege of going to check it out. Let's see it. And here we are, the new A320 Neo of British Airways with its brand new interior. And that is it. How amazing does that look? This is Club Europe, which is business class to you and I. And then back there you have standard economy. But first, look at those seats. Beautiful red toning there. Incredible stitching, like a, it's like a sports car seat, isn't it? It's incredible. And then you've got the navy blue. British Airways are trying to go for a real classic British look with these seats and I think they've literally got it bang on there. Look at that and then look at this. Well, is it maybe not that one. Let's try this one. <laughs> uh, the return of the table in the middle of those three seats. So remember, European economy, basically economy seats, a bit more legroom with the middle seat blocked out. Now in pre recent years, we've seen this disappear, but now it's making a comeback with its new interior, navy leather there, and you've got this nice wooden tone. It looks so sleek, doesn't it? And let's sit inside the seat and see how it feels, shall we? Oh, that feels nice, really soft and comfortable. Oh, and you've got this headrest with the foldable flaps there, so you can rest your head. Oh, that is really comfortable. This is so much better than they currently have. I mean, BA's current uh, Club European seats are still okay. I mean, Club Europe is never great anyway. Any European business class isn't great because, let's be honest, you want a flat seat rather than this, don't you? But for a European business seat, this is a very comfortable seat, this is. This is what it looks like in front of you. And let me point out a few features of this new interior that's new to BA. You've got here the USB-C uh, and A ports. Uh, then this is not new, obviously, but you've got the tray table here, which comes to, towards you like that. You've got the seat pocket again, not new. This is new. The seat is new. This is the recline button. Let's see how it far it back it goes. It's standard, really. I mean, all again, all European business class seats don't really recline that much, but that's the recline, nothing special. Um, and then you've got the uh, you've got the air conditioning unit above you, which you can control individually. Here are the lights. Looks really sleek, nice. Oh, another thing I've just noticed, which is new, mood lighting. So now they're going to arrange the mood lighting in a way that makes you feel fresh when you step off a plane. Nice. And another new feature with this new aircraft are these, the overhead bins. Now. With BA flights, with any flight, to be honest, these days, when you're traveling within Europe or anywhere in the world for that matter, it's been a struggle to get your bags on here because there's just so many people using cabin uh, bags now, and so it's just, there's just hardly any other space, so you end up having to put it in the hold. 
unfortunately, these overhead bins are new. They are bigger, so you can fit more bags in there. And look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but there is plenty of space in there. So that is really good. And so, yeah, I mean, let's sit in the very front of the aircraft, shall we? Which is where the best legroom usually is. Let's see what that's like. Oh, yeah. Loads of legroom there, actually. That is really nice. I usually prefer to sit in the row behind simply because I can slide my feet under the chair in front. When you're up here, you're quite obstructed by the wall, I feel. But this is still plenty of leg room. Feels really nice. In the front, you will have somewhere, yep, the tray table. The tray table is always stored away in here when you are at the front. Let's see how that looks. Oh, nice. You can keep it like that to put your drink on and then go to the toilet or you can open it up for your meal really sturdy feels really good quality that is very nice indeed it's hard to do it with one hand unfortunately when i've got the camera in the other but there we go that's stowed away but yeah no that looks like a really nice club europe let's check out economy and here we are in the normal economy seat uh, and not too much different to the Club Europe seat. Still the same really stylish brand new navy and red toned seat with really gorgeous stitching there going on. Looks really sleek. In front of you it's the same affair as business class. The only difference being is it's a bit more legroom in business class. But uh, here it is. It's got the seat pocket still, the tray table. You've got the same USB A and C ports, however, less wattage. 15 wattage here, 60 wattage down at the front. Um, but yeah, you've got this pocket here for your literature and that's pretty much it. But it's all about the seat. That's what this is all about. And it is really nice, really comfortable, soft. Again, you've got the headrest that can move up and down and the flaps on both sides to rest your head. But yeah, that's how it looks. And I must say, it looks really, really smart indeed. And there you have it, everyone. British Airways brand new interior on its new A320 Neo. Now, you might be asking, when are we going to see this new seat in the sky? Well, it already is. You see, BA is installing this new product across all its new A320 and 21 Neos. They've already taken delivery of a couple so far. Just noticed a load of cat on crew walking past there. Uh, but yeah, they've already taken delivery of a couple of those so far, and they'll be installing it across all their new, their future 20 and 21 Neos. Bad news, they're not retrofitting their current aircraft with them, just their new ones. So yeah, there it is. What did you make of that seat? Please comment your thoughts below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and consider subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you for that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.